Hello again. In this video we're going to cover something that quite a few people have problems with and that's sufficient inward focus of travel and you usually hit that problem if you're using sort of a 0.5 focal reducer on a webcam or if you're using a DSLR. Now I'm going to show you two ways to get round it. I'm going to show you the way that I originally got round it and then I'm going to use a couple of pieces of kit that are either not easily to get hold of or actually not very well publicised and show you an alternative. So what we're going to do first is we'll just go in close up on the focuser. Right, we're now in close up on the focuser on my Skywatcher 200P. Now the first thing that you may notice is that even though that is the standard Skywatcher adapter that's in there, I had mine machined by an engineer friend and I basically just had 10mm taken off the end and then drilled and threaded for the fixing screws it just gave me that extra 10 millimeters of inward travel which at, the, at that time was what I wanted um, and we'll call that the Mark 1 version now you would think that Skywatcher would let you just unscrew these two screws like so take the standard adapter out and then place 2 inch fittings directly into the focuser tube and that would answer a lot of problems the only thing is it doesn't now that's where the next piece of kit comes in so I'm going to introduce you to this this is a, is a telescope service attachment uh, it's made by a company called telescope service which is in Germany and it's actually a direct replacement for this uh, you know it's threaded to fit into the focuser tube but it also uses compression ring as opposed to the normal screws going in and digging into your eyepieces and your fittings and everything so it's actually far superior so what we're going to do is we're just going to swap the two over and I'm going to do a cut at that point because it takes quite a bit of screwing and yes these are the jokes folks Right, so we now have our telescope service attachment fitting in, which now allows us to take two inch eyepieces or other fittings and just put them directly into the focuser tube so it's given us a lot more inward travel. But it doesn't stop there because what we can do next is add a few more parts. Next I'm going to introduce you to this. Now this is an Orion precision self-centering adapter. Uh, I've introduced this in other videos uh, but there's a couple of sort of undocumented features of these that I'm going to show you next. Now obviously we can fit this directly into there, which now you can use a webcam with a, a 0.5 focal reducer where you might need further inward travel. Uh, but what if you've got a DSLR? Well, if you take one of these and unscrew the compression ring, take out the compression washer, we now have a T2 thread built onto there again straight into the adapter T2 thread DSLR uh, these also have a thread on the inside for 2 inch filters now these actual fittings uh, although mine's an Orion one there are actually a couple of different makes of these um, the most common one is Antares it's exactly the same piece of kit it's just rebadged now I found the, the most available place for getting hold of these is from Rother Valley Optics and I'll put the URL up on the screen. Right, it doesn't end there because now what if we want that outward travel that we've lost by removing the, the Skywatcher fitting? Well, you could sort of mess about and start unscrewing this and you know screwing the fitting back in and it's, it's just basically it's a lot of messing about. So what we use next is we use another piece of kit, again from Telescope Service, which is this. Now this is a 35mm extension and again it's got a compression fitting which means it's not going to damage any of your kit. It's also again got a screw thread on the inside for 2 inch filters. Now this will fit directly into there. That now gives you the same spacing as you previously had with your Skywatcher adapter. It's a lot easier to sort of do this than it is to start unscrewing and screwing fine threads in the middle of the night and when it's dark. So it just makes things a lot easier. And obviously, again, you can take your, your adapter and 
fit that in or your two inch eyepieces or whatever so we've got a fully adaptable system with regards to focus travel now you can get these in longer lengths um, this is the shortest one that I've managed to find again like I said it's telescope service now the thing is with telescope service kit it's available from telescope service in Germany but what prohibits the buying of it quite a bit for me to be honest is the post and packing which can turn out to add sort of over nine euros onto your order what I have found though is one supplier in the UK that actually actively stocks telescope service stuff and sells it very very competitively is modern astronomy so if you do get into modern astronomy again I'll put the URL up there and either telephone or email and ask for Bernard uh, he'll sort you out with whatever bits and pieces it is that you need and I think you'll agree that it's it's quite an adaptable system doing it that way it's just all makes everything modular and um, like it, it's a hell of a lot easier especially in the dark to just be able to swap and change from one to the other and that's about it for this one so once again thanks for watching